The iPhone 3G and 3GS models were one of the most revolutionary mobile phones of their time, but some of these models had a very unrevolutionary feature. Hello everyone, Apple Demo here. Today we're going to be taking a look at an iPhone that isn't exactly well known, an iPhone model that was only ever sold in China. Today, we're going to take a look at the no Wi-Fi model of iPhone 3GS. The first thought you may have is, why would Apple ever remove a feature from a device? Well, I may as well just point you towards the iPhone 7 headphone jack in that case. But in all seriousness, why would Apple ship an iPhone that's missing a feature as integral as Wi-Fi? Even looking at the back, you can see that there are clear differences from normal iPhone 3GS models. The iPhone on the left, being the Chinese Wi-Fi list model, has Chinese text and Chinese regulatory logos. If we also look under settings, we can see that there's no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth tabs for the Chinese model. Well, the reason for this is that the Chinese government at the time didn't actually approve of the Wi-Fi standards that most mobile phones used, which also includes the Wi-Fi frequencies that the standard iPhone 3GS uses. But what Apple decided to do is instead of just not being able to sell the iPhone 3GS in China, they made a custom model that had the Wi-Fi capabilities removed. Meaning that if someone wants to go on the internet, they have to do it over cellular data, period. And with the cost of how much cellular data used to be back in 2008 and 2009, yeah. So the good news is these Wi-Fi capabilities did eventually get approved in China, making it so that Apple could sell the normal models of iPhone 3GS. But that still left a lot of people with these Wi-Fi-less iPhone 3GS models. While back in 2009, and still today, this would be a major feature for a device like this to not have. But because the iPhone 3GS is now obsolete and pretty cheap, this makes it a pretty interesting collector's item. Because they were only sold in China for a limited time, they are quite rare. But when they are being sold, at least at the time of making this video, they still don't fetch that much more than a standard iPhone 3GS model. But it is pretty interesting to think that Apple did at one point make a custom iPhone that didn't have Wi-Fi. But when these phones managed to escape China and go on to international markets, you could imagine that some people were confused why their iPhone 3GS didn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. But anyways, this was just a short look at a really weird iPhone model that most people don't know about. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and even look at my prototype playlist which includes a lot of rare and interesting Apple devices that I own. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.